again.
Okay, so next day, so I got uh, got the railing down, and uh, now I'm just gonna glue it down and screw it, and uh, get a flatbed in there, and that's the agenda for today. Also, we're gonna cut these off today. Um, yeah, and this was a bit of a, a hassle to get these joints right, and even then they're kind of splitting up on me, but it just adds to the flavor, adds to the spice of it, and uh, yeah. So today's just going to be hopefully a short day. i uh, probably jinx myself by saying that. But uh, well, yeah, let's get it done. I'm going to glue it before I screw it down. I'm going to screw it down from the bottom. And uh, we'll get it done from there. All right, nerds, let's get at it.
Hey again folks, so just doing a little lunch break, getting myself a little glass of milk to uh, recharge and uh, rethink where I'm going to head from here. Making some good progress, got the fence on and I just put the uh, flatbed in and uh, we're doing really well. So yeah, I thought I'd just take a little break, explain what I'm doing and um, yeah, so let me take you on a little tour. Okay, so I made this joint here to uh, kind of maximize hold. So um, no matter which direction this is pulling, so if this is pulling out this way, these nails are going to hold uh, that in place. And likewise, if this pulls this way, these nails on the other side here will keep it in place. And so that's ultimately how I did that joint. And I think it's a pretty superior joint. Uh, there are better joints like dovetail and whatnot, but I'm not doing this on a, on a, a wagon that's going to see a lot of abuse. So these are rot head nails that I was able to get, and I wanted to add those to just dress it up and uh, give it some structural um, stability. So um, I attached the fence with screws underneath, as you guys could, could tell, but I had to keep the clamps in place, otherwise this thing's going to want to bow out or in, and um, that's how I was able to put the clamp on and then tap it, and the friction that the clamp was keeping down on it was allowing it to keep from bouncing back out or bouncing back in. So yeah. Um, and I use these three inch screws. So an inch and a half is probably here for this two by four and the other inch and a half is actually in the fence. So this fence is not coming up for anything. Um, so yeah, uh, this is gonna hold the majority of the, uh, the rack in place so it won't, um, it won't shift. The, you know, the whole frame won't shift one way or the other. And so, yeah, that's a, a real good reason why I'm going to use this. I'm not going to use screws on this because ultimately nails are more ideal for any kind of like shearing force. And that's the only force that's going to be put on this. There's going to be a lot of weight on this, so there's nothing really going to be pushing up or pulling it out of place. All right, so I glued this whole thing down with uh, Type Bond 3 waterproof wood glue. And um, yeah, so this is probably going to be outside in the elements and just constantly saturated with uh, rain and whatnot and so that's the glue I used and I used it very liberally to make sure that it's gonna stick and it's gonna stay and it's not gonna come back up if it just gets a little bit of moisture on it so yeah this is my go-to glue and uh, I highly recommend it so this uh, when I, we got the, um, the flat bed put into place um, it pushed this out and I've got to figure out a way to fix that and this split and all sorts of stuff um, so that's got to be fixed now um, we also got to sand some of these edges down and uh, just kind of dress it up make it look good okay so we got the flatbed in we got it nailed down we got it glued in with a waterproof wood glue so I can just fill this with whatever the idea is to put a mattress in here and then put a canopy over that and yeah, so we got to figure out how to we're going to mount a canopy to the inside of this fencing here and have it come in and out very easily. So I can just have this or I can put a canopy on it or whatever I need. All right, Ken folks, so that's it for today. We're running out of daylight. We're running out of time. We've got a few more weeks to an event that we got to make sure that we have this ready for I can sleep in it and stay dry and stay warm. Um, we've got to fix some mistakes. We still got to put a tiller on the front where it can handle the twisting, t pulling, you know, turning, uh, pushing, pulling, all of the stuff that you need a tiller to do. 
you know, just steer this uh, big old wagon because this is going to have a lot of people in it and it's going to have a lot of gear in it. And I'd like to, to be able to handle uh, all of that. And uh, so, yeah, um, this has been a fun build and we still have a lot more to do. And I appreciate you guys for watching. And uh, if this episode was helpful in any way, then you guys owe me a coffee. So go to my Ko-Fi down in the description below. You can click the link and uh, you can uh, click to donate. It doesn't cost much, just a few dollars. And I really appreciate any and all effort that you can send my way because a lot of this stuff takes a lot of energy and a lot of money to make. And uh, this is to benefit all of us. And I'm showing you guys how to make this stuff. I'm teaching myself how to make this stuff. And so we're all learning here. And um, if you want to become more of a uh, long-term partner in, in supporting me, then try my Patreon. I have all sorts of tiers that you guys can jump on and get all sorts of cool benefits. And uh, also Etsy, I have a lot of great gifts and a lot of really cool stuff that you can buy there that will be helpful to you. And all those profits go back into the channel for buying materials or getting camera equipment or audio equipment or new, whatever. Whatever I need, it goes back into the channel. So it's not wasted on trivial things that I want to you know, spend it on. So yeah, I really appreciate any and all effort that you guys can send my way and and definitely and if you have something any questions just leave it down in the comments down below and i'll be able to answer it as best i can and try not to confuse you any further so i'm going to send you home with a be humble be helpful and be honorable thanks for watching